Match week seven of J1 2024 kicks off at the division's crisis club. Consadoli Sapporo played six, lost five in a row, won none, and rock bottom ahead of the visit of Gamba Osaka to the Dome today. Bisha Petrovic's team are deep in the doldrums as they take on one of J1's three unbeaten teams. Gamba have played a game less, but have still played five, won three, drawn two. So congested is the upper part of the table at this early stage that a win today actually takes Gamba joint top for 24 hours at least, with the other nine fixtures this match week taking place tomorrow. We shall see if Danny Poyatos' team can continue their progress in this second year under their Spanish coach, or if today is the day Sephora's season comes alive. This is the third game in a week after J1 resumed after the international break. Sapporo were tonked 6-1 by the defending champions Vissel Kobe last Saturday and went down 2-1 to Nagoya Grampus here on Wednesday. Gamba had back-to-back -back draws, one all at San Freche and goalless at home to Kyoto Sanga. They've drawn both of their away matches so far, having also drawn 1-1 at Makeda Zelvia on the first weekend and Danny Payatas has made six changes to the starting 11 today to try and freshen things up a bit. This is a fascinating clash under the roof here in Sapporo. Really crackling atmosphere. And of course, the noise is heightened. It's all contained under the roof here on the island of Hokkaido. Well, Misha Petrovic resists the temptation to make wholesale changes to his struggling team, but he does make two switches to the 11 that started against Nagoya Grampus in midweek. 
Tomoki Kondo signed from relegated Yokohama FC in the off-seat and comes in on the left side of midfield. And significantly, Shingo Omori is handed a first-ever start in J1 up front, presumably on the basis that he can't do any worse than the previous incumbents of the role, Masashi Suzaki or Yuki Kobayashi. As regards the uh, formation, you know what you're going to get with Sapporo. 3-4-2-1, Suga moves back to uh, the left side of the defensive three to accommodate Kondo because Nakamura drops out of the starting 11 today. It's a rare foray into the top tier for Atsushi Kamimura today. Normally to be found in J2, the 39-year-old from Aichi referees a J1 match for only the second time in the VAR cabin are Fatoshi Nakamura and Takumi Takagi. Six changes for Gamba today. Shot at Fukuoka for Kosuke Kurakawa at left back. Dawan for Neta Lavi at the base of midfield. And a completely new front for Kurata, Sakamoto and Meshino for Wilton, Yamada and Juan Alano. And up top, top scorer Takashi Asami drops to the bench, replaced by Tunisian Isim Jabali off the bench for... Eight minutes against Kyoto, Sanga in the week, making his first start of the season. In his 19 years coaching in Japan, Misha Petrovic has been relegated all the way back in 2007 when he was in charge at Sanfrecce Hiroshima. His teams have never finished lower than 12 since, but they're in a struggle this year. This is Barcelona-born Dani Poyatos, his second year at the helmet Gambit. A challenging first season saw them finish just five points off the bottom. After five matches played this year, though, Gambit sit sixth. Round seven of J1 2024. Consololi Sapporo, the only side yet to win against Gamba Osaka, one of three teams yet to lose. But it's a busy old time in J1. Back to back midweek rounds and pressures early season on the, uh, the depth and the, the uh, strengths of these squads. That's why Danny Poyatos has made wholesale changes today. Takashi Asami perhaps surprisingly drops out of the starting 11, so we'll see how Isim Jabali fares. He was carrying a knock at the start of the season, the Tunisian, but in from the off today, up front. And it is up front where Sapporo suffered perhaps their most significant loss in the off season with the Tsuyoshi Ogashiwa, who departed to FC Tokyo, and they've struggled to replace him. Had uh, Yuki Kobayashi up front, Masashi Suzuki, and today it's Shingo Omori wearing at 23, who leads the line. A first ever start in J1 for Omori off bench, off the uh, bench four times last season, and has been uh, called upon from the subs bench on one occasion previously this campaign. It's certainly a time, isn't it, for someone to be a hero and make a name for themselves. Is Amori to be that player today? And Sapporo trying to build some early pressure against a Gamba team that have sort of fashioned more of an identity really this season. It was a challenging first year under Danny Poyatos. They had one crazy run of results mid season defending early on here which uh, saw them hit the upper reaches of the table but then fell away completely they finished just five points off the bottom in the end it's uh, Junior Nakano getting back to throw the ball behind for a corner so a bright start here from uh, Sapporo attacking the goal housing those uh, Gamba supporters away to our right in the first half it's a uh, uh, terrific Travelling contingent have come up from Osaka for this one. And that's uh, out for another corner. And say a Babbitt and challenging. The 
Kobayashi, the, the veteran, goes across to take it. He's been moved further back in this formation during the course of the season. He plays in that attacking, supporting two behind the, the main striker. Mori today alongside Yoshi Komai. Ten there is Hiroki Miyazawa in his 16th year with the club. That's Baba's cross. And the two players in that target zone at the far post are throwing themselves at the, the ball in from Miyazawa. This is a really strong start here by Sapporo. An inviting cross, wasn't it? And a terrific defensive header in the end from Dawan, who got back. Darwin is playing in that uh, midfield, screening two alongside Takuma Suzuki. It's generally Darwin or Netalavi, the uh, Israeli who gets the nod alongside Suzuki in this 4 2 3 1 formation. Nice and compact this year. Gamba Osaka. Andrew against uh, the J2 champions. Kida Zelvia on the match week one, then back to back wins against Alberex Nagata and then Jubilo Iwata, and then the last two matches draws one all against Sampreche Hiroshima and Kyoto Sanga. Goalless in the week. It was a terrific game, though, that. Both sides could have won it. And that's Suzuki who's taken the tumble. Standing over this free kick is Shu Garata, the veteran, 35, and a link all the way back to Gamba's Asian Champions League triumph. 2008, that. That is Kurata's free kick. Half away, and the snapshot scuff wide by Suzuki. an integral part of this system and to Gamba Suzuki in his third year now and Gamba have won it back again and the shot is too high that time from Sakamoto only 20 Sakamoto and his desire to make an impression is strong today it's only his second start off the bench three times In that more withdrawn role, central behind Jabali with the Kurata to his left and the Machino to his right. Entirely new front four for Gamba today. Knocked out of play, didn't it? Suga with the ball. They come here to Arano. Kondo taking on the fullback Kondo. Yeah, he's got that uh, directness about him. Tomoki Kondo from Yokohama FC. Relegated at the end of uh, last season, so he stayed in the top flight here, the 22 year old. Started against uh, Avispa Fukuoka, the only point they've Glean this season, and Sapporo, 0-0 on the opening day. And it's been a, a tale of woe, I'm afraid, for them ever since. Uh, beaten here, back-to-back -back by the Reds, and then Makita Zelvia, uh, torn apart by Vissel Kobe, and then beaten by Nagoya Grampus in the week. Five straight defeats for Petrovic's team. something of mainstays over the last half decade or so in J1 Sapporo but this is a huge test for them this season great entertainers last year as we know wonderful for the neutral roller coaster ride if you're a Sapporo supporter scored 56 last year in J1 the third best attack but conceded 61 joint worst with Gamba 
four threes, five fours. Their results were all over the place. Plenty of attacking intent about them in the opening eight minutes here, though. Miyazawa. That's nicely done. A little bit risky, and that's the problem with Sapporo. They play the right way. You can never accuse them of anything else, but it is risky at times, isn't it? I think the absence of Ogashiwa is has hurt them a lot. And those forward players, the, the front three, they tend to interchange. And they haven't quite found a, a nominal striker just to slot into that system yet. And going with Amori today. Kobayashi, that's nicely done. Komai helps it on, this is Yuya Asano. to the edge of the box. Shot from Arano, shut down. And committing so many bodies forward, as we know they always do, Sapporo, they're always vulnerable to be hit on the counter. And there's a Mashino finding Isim Jabali. Suzuki. Nakatani. Been a good signing for them from the Nagoya Grampus, the centre half, Shinosuke Nakatani. And partners up with the Genta Miura in the middle at the back. Pass just a, a little too heavy for Issa Sakamoto. Suzuki and prodding it on. Nakamura forward. Just to nod that. Out of harm's way. Miyazawa. Again, he's wandering his way into trouble. Okamura. Sayababa. He's one of only two Sapporo players to find the back of the net this season, Sayababa. The goal came against uh, Nagoya Grampus in the week when they, they took the lead. And were undone right at the, the death, actually, by Kensuke Nagai's finish. And that old problem uh, committing players forward late on came back to bite them and lost on the counter that night and the other goal came from Kasuke Hara the, the 18 year old midfielder he was off the bench to score in the uh, Makita Zelvia defeat and the goal they scored against Vissel Kobe and the 6-1 hammering it was an own goal Seems to be a team like uh, Sapporo, just one big result. And that will be them away for this season. Not much chance for Jabali to put his foot on the ball thus far. Often plays a little bit deeper, Isim Jabali, but. Put him as the central striker today. If things don't go Gamba's way, there is uh, Takashi Osami on the bench. And his uh, momentum this season checked somewhat today by uh, dropping to the bench Takashi Osami. Nakamura. 
sends that long. I don't know. The target player. Execution not quite there. And true to their principles forever under coach Petrovic. There he is. What a wonderful servant he's been. 562nd J1 match today for the Serbian born coach. It's a year now since he surpassed Akira Nishino's all time record for matches coached in J1. And shows no sign of letting up. <laughs> Mia Zawa. Looks just a little loose. Shot at Fukuoka. The pass is going astray here. And Komai. And chase the ball down. High energy, high tempo team. Zapparo. Fukuoka. Room here for Shukarata. Oof. Oh, it's ended up in the side netting, but uh, it was close enough for Sugeno to scamper across. Six major trophies with the Gamba for Shugarata. Including the J1 title in 2014. They had a, a marvellous spell under Akira Nishino in the mid-2010s. Promotion as J2 winners in 2013 became the only side to then follow that up with a J1 triumph. actually that both Gamba and Sapporo were relegated in that uh, same year well, last year was uh, that man there, Isim Jabali's first in Japan, having signed from OB in Denmark. Dawan. down a bit there by uh, Okamura. And pressure from Sapporo, that yields the free kick here. And Mori drawing that foul.
Kobayashi addresses the ball here. Now, can rain or shine? Those Sapporo supporters will remain loyal. They're a, a club with a great fan base. And bearing in mind the amount of travel that you, uh, you have to undertake if you're to follow Sapporo home and away. Uh, commitment is admirable. Kobayashi and Komai. Between them will be uh, responsible, one will be the decoy. There's uh, three Sapporo bodies in the wall as well. It's Kobayashi, it forces the save from Ichimori. He managed to bend it round and through. Smart stop by the keeper. Suga. Uh, Yuki Kobayashi, he's uh, never going to be renowned, I don't think, anymore for a glut of goals, but he can still offer plenty, and certainly from the dead ball situation there, that was on its way, wasn't it? 31 now. Tried and tested player, only managed three goals last season with uh, Kobayashi. <laughs> Calming word from the uh, referee. Before we see any cards today. And the uh, official today at Sushi Kamimura uh, normally to be found in J2. And Tokyo Verdi against Albirex uh, Nigata on uh, match week four was actually his, his first ever assignment in J1. Kondo back to Suga. Nice and versatile for Sapporo. Often plays in the left wing back slot himself to Suga, but fills in on the the left-hand side of the defensive three as well when Nakamura can't play, as is the case today. There's room for Kobayashi, is Yuya Asano. And Asano just feeds it a little too high there. Often does that, uh, starts wide right, to check inside, wait for the, the runners. This is not unlike the Nagoya Grampus match from midweek for Sapporo here. Not too much that they took the lead and missed chances to put the game to bed before eventually succumbing 2 1. Jabali, DPS to come to get involved. Ball forward into Dawan, and they've got Sakamoto through the middle as well, and that's an important intervention. And Dawan knows that was very, very close to being a devastating little through ball around the corner there. There's your reminder, though, that uh, Sapporo are so vulnerable to the counter attack, and uh, a slightly better pass there from Dawan, and Issa Sakamoto would have been one on one with Sagano. Corner here for Gamba Osaka. Swinger. Once again, I'm getting it half away, and then Miyazawa. They'll just feed it up to Komai. And he's chopped down.
Past the midway point in the first half, very loose again from Sapporo at the back. And three on two here, and surely that was the wrong choice. Meschino uh, wanted it all himself, didn't he? He had those other options around him. Suicide, the pass by Okamura. And Sapporo into trouble. Confirmation of the game's first yellow card there for Takuma Suzuki. Defensive-minded midfielder from Gamba. Morata might be in here. That's a good challenge by Sayababa. Miyazawa. Play the one two, but don't quite pull it off. Sakamoto. Dawan. Signposted his intentions, really. Dawan's still going, and that was a little bit rugged. A challenge from Okamura, but legal enough, according to the referee. Baba. Asano. Well played. And then the long ball looking for Jabali. But Sugano made that call early to come out and cut it out. Sayo Baba. Tomaki Gondo. Baba gives it away, very loose. Into Jabali. Suzuki. Sakamoto. Nakano. Sapporo get back at their defensive stations. And it's with the Dawa. Nil-nil here at the Sapporo Dome. And Consadole against Gamba Osaka. Sapporo doing all the attacking. Need a break, don't they? It often hinges on the little moments. Four nil defeat in Sagan Tosu match week two on the back of that nil nil against Avispa Fukuoka. They missed a penalty. And it was just uh, one nil at the time to Sagan. Come on, I missed this uh, spot kick. We want to lose that one four nil. Jabali, nice little uh, through ball there. That's better from Isim Jabali, wasn't it? Hey, Nakano getting uh, well forward. This was tidy build-up play from Gamba. Unfortunate collision there. Kondo, second player into the book today. Dangerous situation this though. Right on the edge of the D there. Nakano getting well forward from full back actually to 
help out the attack there for Gamba. Discussion here between Nakano and uh, Jabali about exactly what to do with this. So it's Isim Jabali. Oh, it's so close. Wonderful delivery there of the free kick by the Tunisian. And it's just that width of the post that separates Gambro Saka from taking the lead here at the dome. Oh, Sagano absolutely nowhere near that. Rooted to the spot. Lovely technique from Jabali. And Gambara that close to the lead here. But well, it was worth a wait in the end, wasn't it? A big long discussion between he and Nakano about what to do. And something might still be produced from this corner. Oh, and it's in. Or is it? No, offside. Forced in by Shutter Fukuoka from that corner. It was a gamba touch in the middle. Look at the man wearing two here. Yeah. And straight offside. And he managed to chop the ball past uh, Sugano, but uh, it was just off. And I don't think we even need technology to tell us that. Having a good little spell right on the half hour mark here under the roof of the Sapporo Dome. Well, we are going to go back and check. The flag was raised, wasn't it? Far side. Yeah, no goal. And oh, he did well there. Gambit scrapping in, physicality in the midfield just to win the ball back. And the pattern is so, so familiar, isn't it? Consadoli Sapporo with so much of the ball and the invention and the energy going forward. But uh, no cutting edge. And another day they'd be behind. That's, uh, dropped over the top by Kobayashi. Dawan. There for Ise Sakamoto. Kamura beating Isim Jabali to that. Kondo, left side, plays that little one two. Pass might be a little bit too heavy. Kondo does get there. Again to Miura. Position well to get it away. Not for long though. Here's Suga. The snapshot. In trouble, Juni Chimori. Yoshi Komai. Sitting across that. Can't get rounded enough, can he? Seventh year with Sapporo for Yoshi Komai. A club that inspire loyalty. With these uh, veteran players, Yoshi Komai in his seventh year. Miyazawa. In his 16th year, Daiki Suga in his 8th year with Consadoli Sapporo. Sayababa oh, lost it there. Here's Jabali. Jabali wanted to beat one man too many. Okamura there with that challenge. He's done well so far, hasn't he? Okamura against Isim Jabali. 
rugged defender plays in the middle of that back three. Shots thus far. Sapporo shading the possession. Is Nakano. Dawa. Mishino, Jabali, Suzuki could move this. And Suzuki can't beat Suga, that first man there. The cross was a little disappointing there. From Tomaka Suzuki. As was that a subsequent forward pass there. From Sapporo. Dawan. Saturday fixture, this uh, match week in J1. And the rest of the, the fixture is to be completed tomorrow. It's so competitive at the top as well, isn't it? We uh, have Bissell Kobe, of course, being crowned first time champions last season. No one quite saw that coming. Um, it's a wonderfully open championship again this time round. Uh, Makita Zelvia come up from J2 and taking the top flight by storm. The club really going places, aren't they? Sanfrecci Hiroshima up there, Cerezo Osaka, Vissel Kobe, currently fourth, uh, two points off the top, Vissel. Selvia lead the way with 13 points at the moment. Hiroshima, Cerezo Osaka both on 12. And Gamba, and the three clubs on the nine points at present. Good start, hasn't it? The Osaka clubs this season. Oh. Look at where uh, Kawasaki, Frontale and Yokohama F Marinos are, the clubs that dominated the back end of the 2010s. 13th and 14th respectively. There's been a real levelling out at the, the top of J1 over the last couple of years. Gamba won J1 on two occasions. I'd love to return to the glory years, but uh, recent seasons have uh, not been kind to them. Flirted with relegation the last... Uh, Two seasons in J1 of Gamba. Here's Baba. He's forced to go backwards through uh, Takuma Arano again. Here's Daiki Suga. Kondo. Miura with that foot in. Nice and strong and does enough. Lifted forward to Jabali, but he gives it away. Back come Sapporo with Kondo. And Darwin slices that away. Oh there, Sapporo corner. And Kondo seeing a lot of the ball over there, wide left. Not much of uh, a side of goal yet for him, Chingo Omori.
Kobayashi sends in the corner. Out swinger and Okamura's contact is not quite strong or well directed enough to trouble Junichimori there. So it remains goalless here at the Sapporo Dome. record-breaking run of matches on the touchline have come at just three clubs for Misha Petrovic. Sefrici Hiroshima, the, the Reds, and now, of course, Sapporo. Took over for the 2018 season. Flirted with the title run-ins in Japan as Misha Petrovic. He finished second in 2014 is the Reds team. Danny Piatos was at uh, Tokushima Vortis before Gamba took a punt on him. The end of the uh, 2022 campaign. And he come dangerously close to losing his job last season. The run of results they had on uh, two occasions actually during the 2023 campaign. Strange year all round for Gamba last time round. Didn't win until week seven. Lost eight of nine in all competitions mid April to back end of May, then won 9 of 12 and didn't win again all season. Lost 10 of their last 11 matches in 2023, Gambit, scoring just three goals and tumbled in that time from 11th to 16th place. Ended up on 34 points. And Yokohama FC relegated on 29. dealing with the Fukuoka there. <laughs> Suzuki, Dawa. <laughs> Nakatani. Nakano. Breaking the lines there, Shinya Nakano. Back to Dawan. Meshino. Suzuki. And he plays it in between Jabali and Sakamoto, ultimately there. And Sapporo proving tough to break down. as well. Shukarata. Too close to Sugeno. Ended up finding Amori. Just about kept it going here, Sapporo. That's Komai. And working hard to keep hold of the ball. Now Daiki Suga. And it's Kondo, but Fukuoka read that.
Suzuki. Karata. Nakano. Arriving far side, that's uh, Meshino. Phase two here for Gamba. Dawa. Suzuki. All fed on looking for Jabali. And then they lunge in and make the foul. Karata. Agricultural that on the Yuya Asano. Onto Dolly Sapporo and Gambra Osaka cancelling each other out here as we tick towards half time at the dome. Goes Amori. Still a little bit rough around the edges, uh, I think, really, Shingo Amori. Well, one extra minute, that's a rarity these days, isn't it? So a little time added on at the end of the first half. Hiroki Miyazawa. Kurata, yeah, nowhere near to finding him. Isam Jabali there. Komai hoisted across, trying to make something out of nothing. There has been plenty to admire in the first half here at the Sapporo Dome. Both sides have had possession, both sides with attacking intent. But the end product from both Consadoli Sapporo and Gamba Osaka hasn't been there. And we are goalless here at the break. So baby steps really in terms of Sapporo's approach to getting their season on track. At least they haven't conceded. But, uh, have struggled really in front of goal despite all that possession and trying the, the tricky moves that is their trademark with Kobayashi and Komai behind Amori. But Jun Ichimori, the Gamba Osaka keeper, not seriously tested thus far. The closest we came to a goal was Isam Jamali's uh, wonderful free kick that uh, pinged back off the post with Sagano nowhere near it. But at half time here, under the roof of the dome, it is Hokkaido Consadoli Sapporo nil, Gamba Osaka nil.
The teams are out for the second half then here at the Sapporo Dome. It's goalless. Consadoli Sapporo against uh, Gamba Osaka here. And uh, at the moment, it's three draws in a row for Gamba. They've come closest to breaking the deadlock. Darwin has seen plenty of the ball in the uh, middle of the park. Issam Jabali with that uh, free kick. And delightfully curled and off the post. A lot of energy, a lot of movement. Going forward from Sapporo, you know what you're going to get with them in an attacking sense, but no end product, and Shingo Amori has struggled really as the, the focal point of the attack. A big 45 minutes coming up here for Sapporo as they desperately try and get a, a first win of the season. Against a Gamba side that are clearly well-organised, well-drilled, tight and compact. who've made any changes at the break here. Second half underway in this fixture in the previous two years. Consadole have been victorious. They won this match 4-0 last year by a goal to nil in 2022. The year before that, 2021, that was Gamba Osaka's last victory here at the Dome. And won by two goals to nil here 
since the home match that year, Gamba 5-1. The home matches in each of the last two years for Gamba, ending in draws. It's five without a win against Sapporo for Gamba Osaka. Jabali, Meshino. Able to launch the first genuine attack of the second half here for Gamba. Kobayashi, a player who again saw plenty of the ball. And supporting two alongside Yoshi Komai behind Shingo Omori. Surge from deep there from Okamura, and that's Omori trying to get in. The goalkeeper is out and is able to claim there Junichi Omori. Shingo Omori. Desperate for a sight of goal here. Made that good little move. It was uh, an awkward back header, really, from Nakatani. Which almost turned into an assist there for the, the young striker. Not quite. And he'll keep plugging away. We do have Kasuki Hara on the bench here, Sapporo. And Katsuyuki Tanaka, the attacking midfielder. Light on out and out strikers in the squad. Sapporo. So just to have a look at the teams again. Sugeno in goal, Suga Okamura, Baba across the back three. To midfield four behind Kobayashi and Komai, and then Omori. Central striker. And the role that Jabali fulfills for Gamba Osaka. This is Riataro Mishino. Mishino does well, tidy little ball through, and that's a good save. Jabali! They had players back multi layered on the goal line there, and stopping Jabali's follow up shot. Machino, lovely little turn of pace here, and the drive at the heart of Zapporo. The prod through, it couldn't force the, the goal for Sakamoto. But lovely play in the build up there, and Sakamoto just ran out of ground, really, didn't he? He was close in, really, when he uh, collided with Sagano. Your assistant referee team get involved. Checking this uh, possible penalty for handball. Yeah. Scrubbed out. Mr. Takamoto just running onto that pass there from Riotaro Meshino. Showing us why. He's briefly on the books at Man City Meshino. Another good ball in. Oh, snapshot over the top from Shu Karata. Sapporo just looking a little bit porous at the start of the second half here. Asano just failed to deal or properly judge the, the flight of that cross. He could attack. He needn't have lashed out so early there, really. So Ichimori in goal for... Gamba Nakatani and Miura in the centre halves either side of uh, them. Nakano and Fukuoka, Suzuki Dawan, Kureta Sakamoto Meshino, the, the attacking three behind Jabali. His free kick has produced the game's classiest moment thus far. But we still await the first goal here under the dome. There is Jabali, he's beaten to that by Okamura. Dawan takes over. And then Suzuki. Foul call for the challenge on Suzuki.
that one. Nakano. Kurata. Suzuki. Looking there for Meshino. Kondo hooked it away, but only as far as Dawan. Back come Gamba here. Mishina. A quick ball there into Jabali. Bundled over, but uh, legally so. A bit of movement there from Coach Petrovic. Managing the subs to get mobilised here by the looks of things. Been a good, strong start to the second half from Gamba Osaka. Asano did well to dribble himself out of trouble there, but not been able to get it away. That's with the Shinya Nakano. Forward again from left back there, Shinya. Gamba and uh, Consadoli Sapporo both relegated from J1 in the 2012 season. <laughs> Consadoli were rock bottom of J1 that year on 14 points. That's the joint lowest points tally of anyone being relegated from J1. It happened three years in a row with Uita Trinita in 2013 and Tokushima Vortis. Danny Poyatas is a former club in 2014. The worst win record, well, that was Oita Trinitas in 2013. They won just two and lost 24 of their matches. That's in the days of an 18 team, J1. In that 2012 season, Consadole lost 28 of their 34 fixtures. Sapporo have been relegated from J1 four times since the late 90s and their, their first season in the top flight. They actually won J1 three times, that's a record. And it's not the record that they want to prolong, is it? When it comes to next season, it's all about survival. Jabali. Gamba have only ever spent one year outside the top flight. That was that uh, 2013 season. And they won J2 and J1 the following year. And the J League Cup and Emperor's Cup. It was a wonderful little spell of success for the club under Akiro Nishino. Scrappy, isn't it? Here, as we uh, near the 10 minute mark in this uh, second half at the Sapporo Dome. Suga. Nice idea, but there's work here for Kondo to do. And uh, in his pocket there. Uka woke up. Nudge over the top, just uh, too much weight on that pass from Daiki Suga. Fullbacks have uh, done okay today for Gambit. Uka Woka and Nakano. Oof, that's a little bit loose. Oh, no, trying to shut down Junichi Mori. 
really got going attack wise in this second half, have they, Saparo? This is a chance, maybe. Oh, yeah. Deep dive from Yuya Asano. Running into Shinisuke Nakatani more than anything there. Set piece potential here for Sapporo. Kobayashi swings it in. Under very little pressure, Fukuoka. It's clear and then. Uh, Less said about the follow-up volley from Komai, the better, really. It remains nil-nil here. Nice dummy. The riding of the first challenge, it's going to break here for Kondo. There's options here for Sapporo, and Kondo slips the ball back. It's with Sayababa. Uh, too much traffic. Dawad in the way. Suga. And two of them waiting far side. That's the nod back for Yuya Asano. And then Arano plays it in. Away by Nakatani. And then Dawan. Tries to play in Meshino. Well, Suga plays that straight at Meshino. It's a little bit harsh, perhaps, there on the Ryotaro Meshino. Okay, at point blank range. Kondo. Suga. And it's a deep cross and shoveled away by Nakatani, and Sapporo just playing their way into this second half now. It's another corner, and Kobayashi will trot across to take it. There is the corner, and there's the contact from Genta Miura, it's Suga! These two follow-up attempts after corners were only half cleared suggest that Zapporo haven't necessarily been working on their long-range shooting on the, the training pitches in the week. Daiki Suga just lashing across that. Kaido born player. And now we are going to see changes, I think, in the not-too-distant future. That was Wilton. The, Brazilian dropped out of the, the starting team today, having had a, a good run in the, in the starting 11. Welton Felipe, you would think uh, Welton for Shoe Gurata would be uh, a logical switch here. Player signed from Levski Sofia. One of the newcomers to Gamba. Arano just getting his foot on that. Nicely done there by Takuma Arano. Kondo. And Suga. And build from the back again here, Sapporo. Komai, there's room for him here. He's got options left, he's got options right, he's got the Mori through the middle. It's still Komai, it's Asano. He cuts in, and the shot is dragged wide by Sayababa. Well, that's the route through which uh, they got their goal against Nagoya Grampus in the week. And Baba, on well, the defensive three, getting well forward to 
support the attackers. Didn't connect properly with the shot at all there, and it's actually Riotaro Meshino who is replaced by Welton Felipe. Perhaps a little unfortunate to be withdrawn here, Meshino. The present campaign, the, the full to spring campaign, is the way things are played in Europe. He actually featured in the Europa Conference League back in August for Levski Sofia, did it at Welton. Can he make a difference here? It's Comai. That's the first involvement for the Brazilian Welton. Nicely done. And play left or right. And it looks like right today for Welton Felipe. Here he is. And Jabali just hasn't quite got the pace there. And elbows Okamura. And that's been an interesting battle. All night long. Okamura versus uh, Jabali. the hour mark at the Sapporo Dome. Gonsadoli Sapporo nil, Gamba Osaka nil. It's going to be a free kick. And Mori against the two of them there, he brings down Suzuki, realising he's not going to win that battle. Brings down his opponent and now changes. Two, maybe three of them here for Safaro. The next time the ball goes out of play, it's Isam Jabali. Played in there to Welton. The ball kind of hit the Brazilian and bounced away to nothing. Now here comes Kondo. That's nicely done. Komai. Got the room again through the heart of Gamba for Komai. Asano. Guya Asano, a useful cross, dealt with by Fukuoka, but only as far as Arano. Now Suga. Yuki Kobayashi, good cross! Oh, and the header was uh, pretty poor in truth, but the ball isn't away yet. It's Komai, it's Arano! Oh, it's off the woodwork. So close to the opening goal there for Sapporo, Takuma Arano. The veteran. Well, this was the first chance. A delightful ball swung in there by Kobayashi. Header didn't amount to much. That almost did. That was a ripper of a strike by Takuma Arano. So close. And the captain, very, very close there. To bringing delight here to Sapporo. Ryu Takao, one of the players coming on, Ryota Aoki, Tatsuya Asegawa. So they're switching around the attack here. I mean, Aoki normally plays left sided. Asegawa through the middle. And then. Takao at the back. Just to shake it up. I mean, Omori has uh, tried hard up front tonight, but not quite the finished article yet, is he? I certainly know Ogishawa was so vital for them in that role last season. Sayo Babbitt getting airborne there. Well, that's both teams have struck the woodwork now. Oh, 
tumble there by a shot at Fukuoka. He shakes himself down and gets on with it. So, this is the closest Sapporo have come. And Junichimori nowhere near it, and Arano close to his first goal in J1 since last June. He scored actually against Gamba's city rival Sorezzo in a 4-1 defeat here. Just a, a couple of weeks prior to that, he was on target in a 5-4 win at Kashiwa Reysol during the goal glut mid-season of the matches that Sapporo were involved in. And now we see the top scorer, Takashi Asami, come in for Gamba Osaka. We've got Kurakawa for Shu Karata and Hideki Ishige for Issa Sakamoto. So big changes now from Danny Boyatos. Yeah, switch around again in that front four. Uh, they're, they're finishing with a, a completely different uh, front four to the the one with which they started this match. Welton, Kurokawa, Ishige in that uh, attacking three, and then Asami goes up front here. Score of three goals for Gamba so far this season. But the onus for Gamba is on the, the defensive operation as Welton gets back just to turn that ball behind with Sapporo getting away down the right-hand side. Opened up a little bit more now, hasn't it, this match? Still anyone's. With stoppages around about 25 minutes to go here at least. Here's the corner, there's the header, and it's over the top. Delivery from Asano. It's a Ryu Takao. Joined from Gamba in the close season. Ryu Takao. And he spent five years for the opposition today. Nakano, trying to shake off his opponent there. Segawa. And the players who fled Yokohama FC at the end of last season when they were relegated, Tatsuya Asegawa. Not an attacking midfielder, really, but they do have this absence of out-and-out -out strikers in their ranks to Consadoli Sapporo. Asegawa is a useful enough campaigner. He was part of the Kawasaki Frontale success run. Four J1 titles to his name. And for his cup, J League Cup as well for Asegawa. That kind of experience could be vital here, not only today, but for the season as it unfolds, because there's every suggestion that it's going to be a, a long and gruelling season for Contadoli Sapporo. Here's Welton. A bit of room for the Brazilian on the right-hand side. Asami waits patiently in the middle. There's the step over and the cross. And 
the defensive work just to get the ball away from the danger zone. So Welton, that's what he was brought on to do. Eluded the Sami. Shige got well forward. So it'll be a corner here. Be taken by Takashi Usami. A veteran Usami, sixth year of a, a third spell for Gamba. And there is the corner, and there's the flick header. Across that uh, pack of players in the middle. Nice run into that. Near post area there by Nakatani. It grazes the ball across, and no one gambling there on that ball being flicked to the far post. Inside the last 20 minutes at the dome, it's nil nil still between Consadoli Sapporo and Gamba Osaka. Consadoli didn't win until match week four last season. This rate will be at least at match week eight. This he didn't win in the league until the eighth week in 2022. Sapporo, they are slow starters, that's for sure. Is Ryota Aoki. Arano. Takao. Asano, that's nicely done, and then the cross is headed home by Miyazawa. Breakthrough for Sapporo. It was patient build-up play on the right-hand side, the cross was good. The header from Miyazawa has been Junichi Mori, who's been really exposed there at his near post, and Sapporo have what could be a priceless goal to accelerate their season. Nicely done. Poorly defended by Gamba, you have to say, in particular by the goalkeeper. There's the cross, there's the header. And he lets that sneak in. Ichimori. And it's actually a misjudgment by Shota Fukuoka. And look how much it means, that goal to Consadoli Sapporo. They have the breakthrough here. Now then, they scored first in the week against Nagoya Grampus. They went on to lose. Can they hold on to the lead today? Well, he's made those changes, hasn't he? Which breathed new life into Sapporo's attack here. And it's been rewarded. We have Hiroki Miyazawa. Last goal, by the way, October 2022 for Sapporo. So that is a huge goal for him personally and for his team. First goal in 34 matches for Miyazawa. But exposed at the other end as Welton gets in and lifts the ball over the top. Good little ball into Welton, the substitute here. Delightful. Little sandwich of an assist, wasn't it, from Dawan? And then Welton lifts that over the top. Oh, great little chance that for Gamba to hit back immediately. Well, unbeaten thus far. One of three teams in that position in J1, but up against it here now in Sapporo, Gamba Osaka. What do they have late on here? Forced the free kick. The foul from Okamura, who's fully committed always. Suguru got back to help commit the foul in a sense there so Gamba with his set piece Usami I want him on the end of this 
rather than taking it really, don't they? Here's the delivery. Kamora with it again. Oh, the dipping shot from some way out. Doesn't test Sagano. Again, there was perhaps a little bit of wriggle room there. He could have taken an extra touch. Suzuki necessarily need to lash at that first time. Conser's good recent run against Gamba Osaka at home in J1 is set to continue now. Make it three years in a row without a goal here for Gamba if it stays like this. Aoki. Suga helps him out. Aoki does well. This is uh, Daiki Suga. Back for Sayababa. Headed away, and Ryu Takao involved. Baba, Suga. Oh, that old confidence now has returned to Sapporo, it seems. Suga takes it on. Gamba scrambling to get the ball away. They just have that extra bit of pep about them. Now Consadoli Sapporo. Neta Lavi is going to come in for Takuma Suzuki. Alongside Dawan at the base of the midfield. The Israeli international. Fresh legs, extra energy. Necessarily an attacking move. It might give them more of a, a platform at the base of the midfield here. And there he is, involved straight away there, Lavi. He's given it away. It's Suga. It's the goal scorer, Miyazawa. All right, there goes Welton. This is a pocket pick. That's Arano. Takao. Suga. Goes Suga, barged off the ball there by Welton. And he's booked for his sins. Introduction to the game for Welton. But uh, Sapporo have really taken this contest now by the, the scruff of its neck. Going for it. Going for this second goal. It's the only way they know. Yuya Asano here to take this free kick. Sent to the far post. Players tumbling. The foul in there by Okamura. He's thrown himself into the challenge again, Daichi Okamura. And taking the defender down with him by the looks of things. So, ten minutes to go here. Consadoli Sapporo, so close now to a first win of the season. Eighth year back in J1 for Consadoli Sapporo since their last promotion. 
games. The, their longest ever spell in the top flight in Japan. Wilton. That's a useful ball through. Oh, it's in! It's 1-1. One, one. The lightning breakaway on the left-hand side. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Flag is up. And those Gamba cheers caught in the throats here. Yeah, good call. Good call. That left-sided player was uh, caught offside. It was a, a heck of a messy goal, wasn't it? And Gamba left frustrated, but it was the, the right call, certainly. I mean, Kurokawa made that break left side. I can't believe it. But uh, correctly ruled out. Unfortunately for Danny Poyatos. And that little change of pace, defenders, uh, the old line goes, they do not like pace, do they? Mm, combined with slick passing. Sapporo were forced back there. Gamba need to replicate and just improve a little on the, the timing of the passing here, if they're to get anything from this game. Sapporo pouring forward, it's away by Kurokawa, the substitute. Tack out. Here's Howard. Asano. Picking out Suga. Baba. Arano's had a, a decent match. This is Baba. Looking for Aoki there. It was a, a nice idea. And that turnover. It is uh, drilled long. Nishige uh, bundled over. Okay. The ball moving again quickly here, Gamba. Wilton. Miura. Fukuoka. Nakatani, no way through. They turn back and recycle it. They're forced all the way back here to Junichi Mori Gamba. And this poor start to the season set to be ended. Consadol is worse, by the way. Back in 2012, they lost seven of their first. Eight matches, that was the year they went on to lose 28 in total. Didn't win that year until the 3rd of May when they beat Soretso Osaka. Miyazawa's header set to bring the first three-point haul of the 2024 season. Such a huge goal. Just kept on running, didn't he? Here comes Sapporo again. Foul that time by uh, Neta Lavi. Masegawa makes the substitute into the book. Two of them now, Neta and Wilton. The names on the back of that yellow card.
I know, just processing where to put it here. Drilled long. Well, the idea was just to go right to left and play in Daiki Suga. And he's just overcooked that pass there, Yuya Asano. To a frustrating outing here for Welton. Yeah, he's just dragged back Ryu. April is a busy month here in J1. Last midweek rounds, and today it's uh, Albirex Nigata away for Sapporo next, then two at home, Sanfrecce Hiroshima, and uh, Shonan Belmare. We can attack those fixtures now with uh, so much more confidence on the back of the first win. Gamba away to Yokohama F. Marinos in midweek. It was a match scheduled for a little earlier in the season, had to be rescheduled because of the Mariners' continuation in the AFC Champions League. And they got a match at home against Sagan Tosu and then Urua Reds away, the Antlers at home, so a tough little run there. into trouble. Takamura so just able to guide it back slowly. Had a good game. Daichi Okamura at the back for Sapporo here. No, again, time seriously running out here. There we are, the 90-minute mark. We'll have five extra minutes for Gamba to prevent a first defeat of the season and uh, stop Sapporo winning their first match of this campaign. Suga, there's the man whose goal threatens to do exactly that, Miyazawa. Ball out of play. Nudged forward there into Komai. Oh, Fukuoka away. It's off for Dawan. Should be the goalkeepers. Well, he was very nearly embarrassed there by Ryota Aoki. 
not had his uh, most distinguished match today. Junichi Mori in goal for Gamba Osaka. Aoki waits for support. There's Asano providing it on the right hand side. Ryu Taka bites off a little more than he can chew there. It's Dawan. quite the attacking thrust in the second half that Gamba Osaka needed. Sapporo, you have to say, they worked really hard today just to shore it up in the final moments. Suga has been full of energy and that physicality that he always brings. And he's replaced by Toya Nakamura. And a straight switch there. Young defender Nakamura. See this one out. Sapporo to sling the ball long again. Fukuoka beneath it, that's Arana. Kurakawa, as far as Asano, that. A break here to Neta Lavi inside the final two minutes of time added on. Throw in. Have to get it going quickly here. just wonder how Gamba are going to be able to respond to this because after their fantastic run in that middle third of last season they never recovered after having the unbeaten run ended and didn't win again until the end of this season it was actually 11 without a win all the way until the 2023 campaign's culmination that spirits severely tested again here now isn't it because it's looking like a, a first defeat for Danny Poyatos in this campaign. We haven't necessarily looked like getting back on terms after conceding to Miyazawa. One breakaway attempt ruled out for offside, the, the correct call. But other than that, despite Takashi Isami, the top scorer, being introduced here in the second half, they have appeared pretty blunt. Wilton's early dynamism, that was snuffed out. And do at least have the ball in the box here in the final ten seconds. Ishige, and final defensive effort is required here from Sapporo. We're past the extra five minutes. The ball is clear, on we go. It's Neta Lavi, the ball has to come into the box straight away. Slung in by Nakano. And lots of white shirts forwards. And uh, last orders in the last chance saloon here, it's uh, a corner for Gamba. There it is, the goalkeeper struggling a little bit. And we've got uh, Junichi Mori forward as well, but uh, despite the extra bodies in the penalty area, Gamba Osaka couldn't find the answer, and Consadoli Sapporo have their first win of the season 
Gamba Osaka suffer their first defeat. It took a, a first goal since October 2022 for Hiroki Miyazawa to make the breakthrough. The header which came with just over 15 minutes to play and Sapporo held on to the win. They won ugly in a sense. It doesn't matter how you get the points as long as they're on the board. And that first victory on week seven now for Sapporo. Has them feeling an awful lot better about the situation in J1. A hard-working performance here from Hokkaido Consadoli Sapporo, and they have made the breakthrough. Miyazawa, a rare scorer, but today an important scorer. And Hokkaido Consadoli Sapporo beat Gamba Osaka by a goal to nail their season is off and running. So Danny Poyatos's Gamba team will have to regroup, rethink and come back stronger. I should think he'll be a little bit concerned about the way they uh, they struggled really despite all the attack-minded changes in the second half, replacing basically the front four but uh, couldn't break through. It was a solid defensive operation from Sapporo. Okamura in particular was uh, rock solid at the back. I don't think it's going to be goals galore again necessarily for Sapporo. Certainly not them scoring goals galore. But today one was enough. A hard-fought win, and goodness me, an absolutely vital win. And they will return to Osaka empty-handed today, those uh, die-hard Gamba fans. As ever, we'll have some post-match reaction here. And it'll be interesting here to hear thoughts from the Sapporo side. Overwhelming emotion, surely one of relief here. And to getting their first win of the season after those five straight defeats. ありがとうございます。